Hi, everyone. I'm Emily Izzo, the new ACME coordinator at the Utah Museum of Fine Arts, and I'm so happy to welcome you all to tonight's ACME session. ACME stands for Art, Community, Museum, Education, and is an initiative dedicated to rethinking the public role of the museum. Tonight's session consists of four different parts, the first of which will be um, presentations by four different community members. The second part will be breakout sessions that will really go into deeper dialogue um, with community members. My name is David Hawkins. Uh, I'm an assistant professor and lecturer at the University of Utah in its Department of Writing and Rhetoric Studies. Uh, I also teach in the uh, Honors College. Um, my pronouns are he, him, his. The event tonight is entitled Understanding Transgender. Uh, broadly speaking, it is an opportunity to explore the, uh, the concept of intersex, uh, the way that uh, bodies uh, exist on a spectrum, um, and the difficulties uh, that that come from conceptualizing bodies as um, only uh, existing on a binary uh, between male and, and female. Um, we'll be talking a little bit about art, um, uh, a good deal uh, about uh, politics and culture, uh, and, and as they reflect back on, uh, on gender and sexuality uh, and orientation. In my breakout session, I'm going to ask people to look at images uh, and think about what's being communicated there, or what they perceive as being communicated there, and then uh, also to think about what sorts of assumptions they bring to the image about the identity of, uh, of the individuals presented in the images. Uh, and hopefully, we'll be able to kind of turn at that point also uh, on um, where those assumptions come from. Um, are they images, are they elements that we're seeing in the image, are they actually projections that we're, we're putting out there? Um, and by doing that I hope to, to, uh, to uh, provoke or challenge the, the, uh, the, the conceptions that we have about gender. Uh, my name is Ramil Jackson, my pronouns are they and them, and I am a graduate teaching assistant for gender studies and a first year master's student in educational leadership and policy at the University of Utah. <laughs> um, today, for my first presentation, I'll be talking about basic concepts around gender, sexuality, and sexual orientation, um, and also talking through the ways that different folks within those categories experience violence. Um, and for my breakout session, um, I'll be talking about biogenderism, which is a super fancy way of saying um, the ways in which we organize gender into two distinct categories. Then we create laws and policies around those categories, and then we penalize people um, for not fitting into those categories. So, for example, we'll talk a little bit about bathrooms and how bathrooms and current understanding are male and female, and those operate on first bodies, so penis or vaginas, and then on presentation, so are you masculine or feminine? And we'll talk about the violence around that dynamic. Hi, my name is Whitney Tassie. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm the curator of modern and contemporary art at the Utah Museum of Fine Arts. Uh, and tonight I'm going to talk about um, an artist I had the pleasure of working with in 2013, Sijiyuki Kihara. Um, and she identifies as um, Fafafine, which is uh, recognized as a third gender in the Samoan community. Uh, I'm going to talk about um, ways the museum prepared for her visit and ways that um, we spoke to our various audiences about uh, Yuki and her work. And then I'm going to talk a little bit more about what the museum community is doing today. Um, to be more inclusive of the LGBTQ plus community and other communities as well. Um, for my breakout session, I would like to brainstorm um, about how museums can be more inclusive. I'm hoping that people will share experiences where they felt uncomfortable or unwanted or unwelcome in a museum or another cultural institution, and, and then I'm hoping we can maybe think of some ways that the museums can be more welcoming.
My name is Ella Blanchard. I use she, her, hers pronouns. I'm the coordinator of education and outreach at the LGBT Resource Center at the University of Utah. Um, I'm going to be presenting on gender in a way that um, maybe breaks with the traditional narrative when we talk about trans bodies. Um, we tend to otherize them. Uh, we talk about them at arm's length. And I'm hoping that we together can kind of challenge our perceptions of our own genders and think about the ways in which all of our genders are a little bit queer, meaning different, uh, and not matching a binary ideal that has been set for us non-consensually. We have this double, double standard for trans and genderqueer folks that like they have to avoid regret. And cis folks regret things every day. And so I'm like, get rid of that crap. We can do things with our bodies that we're like, ooh, that was a bad idea. That was weird. <laughs> Um, I'm hopeful that as we talk about what gender means for each of us, that we can kind of reframe our own identity development and uh, think about the ways in which five cisgender men might define manhood very differently. Uh, and then at the end, I'm hoping that we can synthesize that with a, a greater sense of being and wholeness um, that doesn't just separate out and neatly compartmentalize gender as separate from race, religion, ability, disability, and all the other parts that make us who we are. Following the breakout sessions, we are going to do an art making activity. Um, it will consist of participants making collages about what their gender is to them. Um, so it really deals with um, their own identity and how they see it. And then to wrap everything up, we are going to come together and have a group discussion talking about um, things that were discussed throughout the evening, questions people have um, to finalize the evening.